Hey, what's up, YouTube? All right, so I want to make a a quick video today. I want to discuss the wire sizes, wire lengths for uh, Pro Audio sound systems. Uh, as you know, there there are multiple different size wires. Um, you have the the higher the numbers is the smaller the wire, generally speaking, right? Like a 21 gauge is like really thin wires. We generally don't use 21 gauge in any kind of pro audio sound system or 18 gauge or 16 gauge for that matter. Because again, the higher the numbers, the smaller the wire. Back in the days, I used to use 14 gauge wires. And the reason I used 14 gauge wires, that is back in the eighties was because I had my Amprax right behind the boxes. My Amprax were right behind the boxes. I had two two racks. Each rack had bass amp, mid bass amp, high mid amp, horn and tweeter amps. So each rack had everything that you needed to play that stack. And it would go right behind the box. So, so the, the only long cable would be your input cable. So, Ideally, if you if you could, that would be the way to go. And if you check out a lot of the pro audio systems, like PA systems, that is how they do it. The speakers, the, the amplifier racks are usually right behind the speakers. So the wires are extremely short, like 25 foot wires are adequate for a system like that. Nowadays, we're using at least 100 foot wires. That's kind of the, the average most sound systems have 100 foot cables so if you're using long wires like that you have to go with a heavier gauge I have been using 12 gauge across the board because my wires are 100 foot long so I've been using 12 gauge 12 gauge works perfectly in my opinion but I am thinking about going to 10 gauge for bass Again, the, the lower the numbers, the bigger the wire. So I'm trying to do 10 gauge wires for my bass. And what's the reason? I mean, the 10 gauge will, will carry more voltage to the speaker from the amplifiers. The bigger the wire, the more efficient it will transfer the signal from amp to speaker. So again, if you're going long, you have to go big. If the wires are short, you can get away with even some, with smaller wires. Like even you know, like I said, if the wires are 25 foot, 25 feet, then you can get away with 14 gauge wires. Even though I still see people using really small wires on their systems, I don't understand it. But I mean, to some people it don't make a difference, but it really does make a big difference. So. Yeah, if, you, if your wires are 100 foot and you're using 14 gauge wires, you're losing a lot of your signals. So again, bigger the wire, the smaller the number. Like for instance, I'm using 6 gauge wires on my power supply. You know, 6 gauge 4 conductor wires on the power. There are sound system that's using 4 gauge, which is a really big wire. But I feel like 6 gauge is adequate for you know, 100, 150 foot run on the power supply. So same on the speaker. If you're using 100 foot, say over 75 feet, then you definitely need minimum 12 gauge. And on the base, if you could go 10 gauge, that would work. 10 gauge on the base is, is kind of cool. Right? So again, let me say this though. Because I have people jumping in my comments that's saying, actually trying to go against the green. If you're going to dispute anything that I am saying on my channel, I'm going to ask you please to say what I'm saying that's wrong and then add your two cents to it. In other words, correct what I'm saying. If I am wrong and you know that I'm wrong, well, put the right information on the, on the thing. Don't just say, Oh, what you're saying, it doesn't make sense. Say what makes sense. In other words, don't criticize unless you have positive information to put on the channel. Like if you're going to criticize me and go against what I'm saying, 
then put the information that you think is correct in your comment so people can see it you know okay he's saying sequence is wrong and this is what he's saying it is they can decipher and decide who is right and who is wrong so again i ask for people to comment i want people to comment but don't just comment negatively unless you can give a positive feedback as to what is wrong and what isn't all right again i'm making the videos for people that don't know so if you're building a sound system and you you've been confused about wire sizes wire lengths and whatnot i hope this will be helpful to you all right thanks for watching please like subscribe and share the channel tell everybody about the channel because you don't know the channel i have to build like that right hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when i play post my next video all right thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one Broken hearted, I've